Welcome to Sir Wins Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 02, Bank Reconciliation. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi, ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but actually by you Doing the problem solving Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin So again, lecture 02, bank reconciliation Let us read the problem first Okay, so the cash records of Alesa Company Show the following for the month of January Nandito yung kanyang cash receipts, totaling 150,000 And cash disbursement, totaling 100,000 Together with the detailed, yung check number nila So tuloy natin The general ledger of the company shows the cash in bank account for January as follows. So, nandito yung kanyang T account. So, actually, cash receipts 150,000 nga. Cash disbursement 100,000 nga. So, the balance of cash in bank on the depositor's book is 50,000. Actually, kahit hindi din ito ibigay, kaya po nating isolve yan kasi nga may cash receipts and then cash disbursement na 100,000. Wala namang sinabi na meron pang ibang beginning balances. Okay? So, tuloy natin yung problem. So, the fact Following is the bank statement for January received from the first banks. Yun yung pangalan ng bank ko niya, si First Bank. So, ganito ang itsura ng bank statement actually. Nandun yung account number mo in our problem, 775 si Alesa. Okay, yung pangalan niya. So, lugar kung nasan yung business, let's say Tandang Sora City. And then the name of the bank, the location of the bank. Okay? Sa bank statement, nandun din yung daily transaction kung kailan nangyayari yung mga transaction mo sa kanila. Together with the check number, details ng withdrawals. Okay? Then the deposits. Okay? Then we have this balance. This is a running balance. Let's say January 6, nag-deposit ka ng 60,000, nag-withdraw ka ng 5,000. Okay? Naging 55, nag-withdraw uli ng 10, 45,000 and so on and so forth. Kung naalala nyo yung ating discussion, di ba? Pagka nag-deposit ka, credit po yun, kaya nasa, nasa right side. And then yung withdrawals ay debit, kaya nasa left side ng bank statement. Okay? At pagkatapos, Ang isang passbook okay, Or kahit ang isang bank statement Merong mga code okay? Pwede na dun sa, ano, sa mismong parang cover Cover ng passbook or sa bank statement Nandun sa may parting ilalim okay? Ipinapaliwanag kung ano yung mga yon. Kasi sa bank statement okay, May mga pagkakataon There are credit memos Let's say itong isang ito Debit memos Service charges And then RT Yung return checks Buko dito madami pang mga label in reality okay? so, Ang punto ah, parang, ah, parang reference ito kung ano yung mga yon. Okay, so tuloy tayo The following data gathered in connection with the CM and DM appearing on the bank statement Okay, so the CM or credit memo of 15,000 Ito po yun, on January 26 Represents proceeds of note collected by the bank in favor of the company So yun na nga, so nakolekta daw ng note Okay, then the RT or return check of 5,000 Represents check of customer Deposited previously Returned by the bank Because of no sufficient fund Or in SF So ibig sabihin Nagkaroon ng bouncing check Okay So what is our requirement? So prepare a bank statement Ah okay, sorry So bank reconciliation statement Okay So so dito Pwede kang mamili kung saan ka magsisimula Pwedeng kay book Pwede pwedeng kay bank Ang mahalaga lang naman talaga Ay parehas na magbalanse Okay? Ang ginagamit nating beginning balances are, Or I mean yung, yung starting balances Again, hindi beginning but rather starting balances Is actually the unadjusted ending balance of the month Ulitin po natin Okay, let's say simulan natin kay book Kasi ito yung kanyang information So we have here Okay? Unadjusted Book balance <clears throat> So ang sinasabi natin Hindi tayo nagsisimula sa beginning balance But rather uh, Doon tayo sa ano, unadjusted balance Which is yun yung ending Ending per their record So without considering the, uh, the, ano, the reconciling items Okay? In this particular problem Ang gagamitin natin ito, itong 50,000 Which is ending balance Kasi nga minus mo itong dalawa Okay? Ending pero siya yung simula Ng bank record dahil nga yun ay unadjusted So again <clears throat> The unadjusted book balance is 50,000 
Okay? And then afterwards, we have to add, okay, any reconciling items pertaining to credit memos. Okay? So, we have to add the credit memos. Ang tanong meron ba? Una, saan mo yun makikita? Malamang hindi sa record mo. Kasi record yun ni bank na later pinaalam nga sa'yo. Okay, so therefore, babalikan natin itong ano, bank statement at mapapansin natin, there is a credit memo here of 15,000. Kasi pag tinignan mo sa deposit, malamang dun siya magre-reflect. So in reality, ganun po siya ginagawa. Hindi ka tulad ng problem na ibibigay, but rather hahanapin mo talaga. At iintindihin mo kung ano yan. Kung hindi mo masyadong magets, pwede mo naman tawagan nga yung bangko. Okay, so this 15,000 may information dito sa letter A. So basically that is the note collected, di ba? So therefore, pwede nating lagyan ng ano, ng parang description 'yan that is the note, okay? Collected. Oh, yan, note collected amounting to again 15,000. So ito na po 'yun. And then we get the total. Okay? The total of that is 65,000. Then later on we have to deduct, di ba? We have to list this what we called, okay, debit memos. Ayan. Ang debit memos actually binigay na rin dito. We have the RT and then the SC. Kahit hindi DM ang ginamit, the fact na nandun sa withdrawal which is debit side, debit memo yung mga yan. At nagbigay na din ng information, okay, na yung RT ay para sa NSF check. So therefore, isulat natin dito, no sufficient fund check. Okay? Na basically, the amount is 5,000. Ayan. Hindi mo pa pwedeng gamitin itong mga to sa withdrawal kasi nga may information sa check. Hindi siya debit memo. Yun lang naman kasi ang reconciling items, di ba? Credit memos and debit memos. Okay? Meron pang isa yung service charge. Kahit hindi na ibigay yung information, automatically, alam mo na, yan yung charges ni banko dahil nag-avail ka ng, ng services nila. So therefore, we have here the service charges. Okay? That is amounting to... 1,000 And then we get the total The total of which Of the total de debit memos Is 6,000 Na basically Yan po yung imaminus nga natin Dun sa total kanina Dun sa nasa taas And then afterwards Kung wala na pong Credit and debit memos Makikwenta na natin Yung tinatawag na Adjusted yung pinakang tama na na balance ni book. Okay? Punto ulit nung binabanggit natin kanina, ito'y ending balance, ito'y ending balance din. Okay? Ang ibig ko sabihin, when we deduct, okay, that will result to what? So, gamitan po natin ng calculator kasi meron naman tayo. So, that is 65,000 minus 6,000. 59,000 Okay, again That is ending balance Pa rin Pareha sila But this time This is adjusted So pag gumawa ka ng financial statement At tinanong ka Magkano yung cash Ang isasagot mo ay ito Pero hindi ka pa rin sobrang sigurado Kasi nga Kaya mo ginagawa yung bank reconciliation Para malaman kung same lang ba kayo Okay Pag ang ikinonsider naman natin Ay yung records ni bank Okay So therefore Ganun din Gagawin natin yung Reconciliation sa point of view ni bank At nagsisimula din yun sa Unadjusted Okay? Bank balance Ayan, which is in this particular problem That is 84,000 Kasi nga again, hindi siya beginning But rather siya ay ending Nga lamang, that is unadjusted Okay, and then afterwards We have to add any bank reconciling items Which is basically, dalawa po yun The deposits in transits Eh, yun lang, okay? Tapos, sorry Ang ang ina-add natin ay isa Yung deposit in transit Pero yung minamainos natin yung kabila Yung outstanding checks naman Yung sinasabi kong dalawa yung bank reconciling items Okay? So ang tanong, paano natin mahahanap Or paano natin malalaman Na meron pala ditong Okay, deposit in transit Okay, so ulat muna natin So, ang sagot, kukumpara mo yung record ni book, okay, dun sa record ni bank. Ang ibig kong sabihin, sabi dito, okay, sa ledger or sa T-account ni, ano, ni Alesa Company, may receipts na 60,000 noong January 5. Note natin. Titingnan mo ngayon dun sa record ni bank, meron din siyang deposit na 60,000. So meaning, hindi siya deposit in transit. Kasi nga, noong January 5 din deposit to, January 6 dumating. So therefore, okay na yan. Tingnan mo pa yung iba, yung January 13, 20,000. So pag tingin mo dun, yun din yun. Then January 25, 30,000. Kahit January 26 yun, okay, common sense yan yun kasi magkadikit yung date. Pag tinignan mo pa ang nandito na credit memo. So therefore, anong ibig sabihin nun? Itong 40,000, hindi mo siya na 
account. So itong January 31 deposits, malamang pe pwedeng February ang dating. So what can we say? This 40,000 is the what we call deposit in transit. Na basically, pag gumagawa ka ng bank reconciliation, sa point of view ni bank, okay, ina-add siya kasi siya reconciling item. So again, we have to add this 40,000. Okay? And then we get the total. Ayan. So the total would be, so gamitan po natin ng calculator, so 40,000, ayan, 40,000 plus 84,000, so that is 124,000. At pagkatapos meron nga dyang minamainos na reconciling items, okay? And that is what? The outstanding checks, okay? Ngayon, papaano nalalaman or nahahanap yung outstanding check? Same process nung sa deposit in transit in a sense na kinocompare mo yung record ni book at record ni bank pertaining to withdrawals naman and disbursement so gawin po natin itong check number 721 mapansin mo yun nga yun so January 6 then January 8 so yun po so 5,000 so therefore okay na yan na in cash siya so yung 722 so 10,000 yun so therefore ito din yun okay 723 18,000 ito 18,000 din yun so ibig sabihin parehas okay 724 nandun din yun so 2,000 so ito din 725 hindi mo nakita 726 hindi mo din nakita so what can we say these two are the outstanding checks huwag nyo lang pong iisipin na palaging arrange din yung check eh, nakataon lang simple lang yung ating ipinepresent na problem Actually, ito rin yung nandun sa ginagamit natin na libro, yung kay Balix, okay? Uh, para lang mas ma-appreciate or yung pinakang simple talaga. Okay, ang punto ko lang, again and again, huwag nyong iisipin na talagang nakaproperly arrange yung mga, mga check. E, minsan balibalik, tad, let's say itong 721, later pa siya mai-incash, mauna pa yung 724. Okay, bakit po? Hindi naman natin kontrolado yung utak ng nakatanggap ng check. E. Ay kung sakali, next month ko pa gustong i-incash, bakit baga? Okay, so yun namang isa, nakatanggap agad, diretso agad sa bangko. So therefore, okay, nakataon lang na sunod-sunod 'yan. In reality hindi ganyan, okay? Uh, ang bank recon sa totoong buhay ay ang ang pinakang mahirap, okay? Yung medyo mas matagal, I mean, hindi naman sobrang hirap. Ah, uh, medyo matagal na proseso is yung paghahanap actually ng outstanding checks. Kasi iniisa-isa mo 'yan. Ito napakasimple. Anim lang yung check niya. Isipin niyo kung malaki yung transaction, malaki yung company, I mean. So let's say umaabot ng 200 to 300 yung check niya na ini-issue every month. So therefore, ihahanapin eh, mo dun yung hindi pa in cash isa-isa. Okay? Or using computer minsan. Okay, so going back to much more done, no? uh, the story. So we have to write the outstanding checks. Ano-ano yung mga yun? Ang sabi doon, ang sabi dito, we have check number 725. Okay? Amounting to 37,000. Ayan. And check number 726. Amounting to 28,000. Na probably next month ang ano niyan ang encashment niyan so how much is the total outstanding check which is the reconciling items for bank so 37,000 okay plus 28,000 so we will get 65,000 at yan po yung ating mina minus okay to get what the adjusted okay bank balance so from an adjusted to adjusted. By the way, again and again, pareha silang ending of the month. Yung isa lang kinonsider ang reconciling item. So, 124,000 minus 65,000, we will get 59,000. Ah, maganda pa sa bank recon, medyo confident ka kung kailang katama kasi nga nagbabalance sila. So, pag tinanong ka how much is the cash to be presented in the financial statement, ang sagot 59,000. Saan galing? Dito ba or dito? Ang sagot na alin. Okay? Kasi parehas nga lang naman sila. Okay? Kasi si in-adjust mo adjusted balance. Yun pong method na book to bank at saka bank to book. Okay, nandun po sa ating video discussion na hindi na natin siya gagawin kasi pwede mo naman talagang i-squeeze. Okay? So, tumuli pa tayo. So, after preparing the bank reconciliation statement, the next step is to do the journal entries, the adjusting entries. Okay? At ngayon, saan tayo tumitingin? Doon ba sa book or doon sa bank na reconciliation? Ang sagot doon lang sa book kasi wala naman tayong pakialam masyado doon sa record ni bank na basically tayo lang din naman yung gumawa. Ang ibig kong sabihin, lahat ng transaction na nagawa na ni bank na tama naman, okay, ay gagawin din natin at yun na nga po yun. Okay? Pero hindi lang sa computation or sa bank reconciliation statement, kundi pati sa mismong journal natin. Okay, maraming nakakamali sa journal entry in a sense na 
pati itong mga to, itong deposit in transit tsaka itong outstanding checks ay ginagawa nila ng adjusting entries. Hindi po, dito lang tayo sa book, okay? Sa book balance, sa book reconciling items. So, gawin na natin. So, una, we have the notes collected. So, basically, pag naka-add yan, technique po yun, ano, pag naka-add, automatically din ni-debit yung cash. Okay, amounting to 15,000. So, yun na yun. Okay, at ang sabi, that is note collected. So, therefore, we have to credit the notes receivable. Kasi nga, kinolekta mo yung note eh. Okay, 15,000. Huwag na natin lagyan ng explanation. Alam nyo na yan. Okay? The next is NSF check. So, unang punto. Okay? So, uh, naka-less yan. Okay? Naka-less po yung, N, yung, yung cash. So, therefore, automatically, credit yung cash. Huwag na huwag ka dyang malilito. Okay? So, ang sabi dito, it is a customer deposit. Ay, hindi naman pala, ano, pwede yung kanyang, ano, check. Eh. Therefore, ibabalik natin kasi meron pa rin naman tayong accounts receivable sa kanya. Okay? That is amounting to 5,000. And we are going to credit cash kasi nga yun yung pananda eh, naka-less eh. Also 5,000. And lastly, we have this service charge. So that is an expense. So therefore, debit po natin bank service charge. Okay? Or any account na ginagamit ng company. Okay? So ang bank service charge ay kasama sa finance cost. Okay? Kadikit ng ano, interest expense dun sila. Okay, minsan nga, interest expense ang ginagamit yan Pero ako, mas pabor ako dito na service charge ang gamit Kasi wala namang function of time Okay, then we have to credit cash for 1,000 So yan na yung ating uh, adjusting entries pagdating sa sa ano sa bank reconciliation So sa, sa, sa book reconciling items lahat, okay? Last point po natin bago natin tapusin, okay? May mga pagkakataon na merong error. So, beware of errors. Okay? Doon sa ibang video lecture na pen and paper, doon natin nalagyan ng error. Pero ngayon, ah, simple lang muna. So, yun lamang po at maraming salamat.